Today I've got this uh, email. Um, it's from uh, Dr. Kirsten Janish, who is at the Columbia University Medical Center. Um, and they've asked us a question, so I'll read a little bit of the email. Uh, dear sirs, I want to congratulate you on your periodic table of videos. Hang on, dear sirs? Yeah. Um, sir. Last time I checked, I wasn't. Um, so, uh, yeah, dear sirs and me, I hope. Okay. Yeah. Um, the reason for this email is the following. We recently found the following book on Amazon.com. Landolt Bornstein Chemical Shifts and Coupling Constants for Silicon 29. This costs $8,539, which is a pr pretty steep for a book. The questions they're, they're asking, are, um, they're wondering how, how does this price come about um, and why a book on Silicon 29? Um, and also what is so special about Silicon 29? Uh, well, okay, I, 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 can, I can try uh, and answer those, those bits and pieces. So, okay, so we, we'll start on um, what is so special about silicon-29. So silicon-29 is uh, one of the isotopes of silicon. It's one of three naturally occurring isotopes of silicon. Um, it's about 4.7% um, abundant, okay? So the rest of it, so you know, 100 minus 4.7% um, are the other silicon isotopes, which are 28 and silicon 30. Now, what's so special about silicon 29, um, which the other two silicon isotopes don't have, is that it has this property called spin. Um, it's, this nuclear spin property um, allows us to get lots and lots of information about the silicon. So what we can do is with silicon 29, is we can put it into um, what we call uh, an NMR machine. So NMR is nuclear magnetic resonance. Um, and if you talk to a lot, um, most chemists, they tell you that the, the most sort of powerful technique they can tell uh, for telling about sort of what's bonded to, to atoms um, is this NMR spectroscopy. So it gives us lots and lots of clues about, about what's in our molecules that we're looking at. So, so silicon 28 and silicon 30 don't give you any information about the um, about the, the environment in NMR, you can't run NMR spectra on those isotopes. But on silicon 29, because of this um, ratio of protons and neutrons that we have in silicon 29, um, we can get lots and lots of information about them. What these people have done, basically, is they've got lots and lots of data on hundreds, I imagine, I think I looked it up, this, this is 463 pages long, this book. So they've got tables and tables and tables of data um, on all of the properties so this chemical shift, um, which is, I've got a, a spectrum here. This, is a, this isn't a silicon 29, but it's a proton NMR spectrum. So what they've done is they collated lots and lots and lots of data on thousands and thousands of compounds um, and, and put it into this book. Okay, so that's why silicon 29 is so special. Um, the price comes about, I imagine, because... Um, it's just uh, such a specialist book. Um, you probably only find it in a few libraries. Um, and for the, 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 the uh, publishers and the authors to get any money back, they probably have to charge that, that amount of money. And libraries and, and sort of specialists would be prepared to pay that sort of money. So, so yeah, I, I've never spent that much money on a book. Um, uh, admittedly, it's, it's no Harry Potter, but it will be of interest to the people in, in the, that are interested in silicon um, chemistry. Uh, so silicon is really, really important um, in a number of, of places. It's really, really abundant in the Earth's crust, so it'll come up in lots and lots of minerals. Um, so silicate minerals and things and things like that. Um, we also find it in um, things like concrete and cement. Um, uh, the electronics industry, obviously, we've got Silicon Valley, so uh, sort of semiconductors and things like that also have a lot of silicon in them a lot of the time. But also things like silicones. Okay, so. Um, for example, Brady's watch strap that he's wearing might well be made of uh, a silicone. There you go, that's it. Um, obviously, the silicone sealant that you put around your bath and things, silicones come up everywhere. They're in babies' bottles. Um, lots and lots of the plastics you use will have silicones in them. Um, and they're like organic silicon compounds with oxygen bridges. Um, and they're really, really important. So it's obviously very, very important to study silicon 29 NMR.